Oh, February 22nd, 2017, 11.25 a.m. I went to bed around 5, 5, ugh, Papa, damn you, 5.30 a.m. I don't know why I had so much energy, but I stayed up that late. And then I woke up at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I said I give up, I quit. I'm not going back to sleep. I think I have too much energy. I don't know why. But, uh, I'm awake. I'm about to take a shower, I think, after this vlog thing. Or maybe I'll pause it, I don't know. I haven't done one of those in a long time, and I feel that... That was fun. That project, like, 100 Day Vlogs, that was fun. Where I just paused it, and then talked throughout the day different but maybe I'll just make a quick vlog and then I'll make another one but this is number 10 of 2017 vlogs or vlogs 2017 whatever just thought I'd bring everybody up to speed on what I've been doing um I did not get orange juice this week so I'm kind of disappointed maybe this week who knows or last week this whatever you guys know what I meant anyways uh I've been filming my butt off to catch up, which I'm going to do again today because I've got three or four hours pocket of time here. And that's why I'm going to take a shower, eat, and then probably film again. So, uh, these right here. Um. Is it really only that long? Uh, eight minutes. That's the dog mi making memes thing. This right here is the current video I'm filming. Uh, this. Uh, that's the thumbnail I'm gonna use for that. Paula Dean dream vlogs. You know, I'm getting really into these dream vlogs because for some reason I keep dreaming about celebrities. I think my brain wants me to do a dream vlog thing regularly. So it's just pumping them out for me. Thank you, brain. And Slender Space, which I really liked, but only found one node or whatever. So, I'm definitely going to continue that series for Fear Friday. Then, on my Facebook page, I'm trying to create art for it because it was so boring. But, uh, you know... Oh, let's look at these large because I don't feel like waiting X amount of time. Okay. Uh, these are graffiti from Graffiti Tunnel, by the way. Oh! Bean Vlog! I finally did the first Bean Vlog and it got like 22... Like, the first day, which I find very exciting. Because I didn't know if I nailed it or not. It's not on YouTube, it's only on my Facebook page. Because I wasn't sure enough of it. And now that I am, I think I might make that a regular thing. I just need to pick a day of the week. As long as it's not me Mondays, Touch Tuesdays, Wednesdays free, Saturdays free, and Sundays free. But not Thoughts Thursdays or Fear Fridays. Or food Fridays, because Friday's pretty full already, and Monday's usually pretty full. I want to keep those days free, so it might just be a random thing like these. If I do daily vlogs or whatever, it might be bean vlog. Yes, I'd be so glad when that's gone in nine days, because I'm not paying for Norton anymore. Anyways, this is the one that's currently my art for my Facebook page, and I it took like 20 minutes to do all those individually. This one I thought was cool, but then when I selected it, it just, it didn't look right. I'm, I'm simple. I don't use technology, whatever. I'm, I use paint program, people. Anyways, let's go back to documents. Hopefully they're not all, oh, of course, they are all large now. Let's resize them. And oh yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Background art, Fear Fridays, Meme Mondays, Dream Vlogs, Bean Vlogs. Yes, there's a lot of vlogs, streams, beans, dailies. Uh, I made a new recipe last night. Let's close out of that. I made a new recipe last night for potato wedges, which I have not done since I was a freaking kid or a teenager, so I'm excited. And you know, when I was a kid, I used to use milk to coat the potatoes to prevent the starches from burning, I think. I was just really smart at cook early on. And anyways, I'd get a bunch of seasonings and 
put them on a pan and bake them. With these, I used oil. And I used dill powder, I used like dill weed, garlic powder with parsley, lemon pepper, black pepper, crushed red pepper flake, salt, some pork steak, like seasoning stuff that's got like garlic and sugar and uh, garlic, onion, stuff like that. And it was very limited recipe. And then I coated the wedges in oil, which I halved. I made like uh, 16 pieces per potato. I went like this in half and then I wedged them into like eight things. So they were really small and really crisp. And coated them with oil and then I evenly sprinkled them, seasoning on, mixed, sprinkled, mixed, sprinkled. So it was like three or four applications. And uh, boy, it smelled good. <laughs> before, during, and after. And I ate half of them with a new dip that I made for them, which I might have to blend in the future because the chunkiness was a bit weird, but it was still delicious and spicy. I used medium salsa, regular old ketchup, and regular old yellow mustard. And it complemented that so beautifully that, you know, it's a recipe I'm keeping. Now I have a video log of it. I don't have to write it down. Uh, is very good. I love potato wedges. Always have, always will. I thought about adding cheese, like Parmesan maybe, or mozzarella, but that's for the future. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good recipe. I'm going to keep it. And Okay, today I'm going to film possibly since uh, Fear Friday is around the corner and I want to do like two videos because I love the space. Uh, what is it? Uh, Slender Space. I'm gonna film one more of those. I make. I'm gonna make another Meme Monday, and that'll give me two full weeks. So basically, I can finish out the rest of the month without filming anything if I film today, Meme Monday, and a Fear Friday because I already have one for this Friday and a Meme Monday for next Monday. So I'll do next next month. Pretty much my birth month. I want to keep free, so I will just be filming, filming, filming today, and uh, this vlog is video one. Um, so, shower, I'm probably going to eat the rest of those damn potato wedges, is what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to put cheese on them too and see if that's good, and maybe if I can add it to the recipe or not. Um, doing laundry now, um, so if you hear that, I don't apologize because my laundry needs to be done. Um... Still wearing this hoodie. Oh, that's another thing. I was up till 5 a.m. I talked to my buddy. And I said randomly, I need to fucking shave. This thing's edging and driving me nuts. So we're getting rid of this today, too, maybe. I have to... Oh, I should charge my razor while I'm in the shower. Yes, that's what I have to do. Sometimes it charges for, like, a whole freaking day to get through all this mess. But that's all right. Anyways, that's what... I'm, I'm going to end this. I think I filled the on on air over thing. Oh, it's been really beautiful. 60s every day. In fact, it is 55 right now, but it's fair. Oh, 61. Hell yeah. Another 60s. I don't think we're getting snow this weekend at all. It would be absurd and ridiculous because there's no moisture. All right. Out of the shower. Have to make another one. Look at my hair. So crazy. I'll be so glad when it's gone. Cut again. I forgot a few important things. Uh, YouTube family members. Not actual family, but my YouTube family. I call them family members because I've, you know, a decade of my life friends with them. The Rad Brad. Look at this. Let me enlarge this so you can all see that he is approaching... Oh god, that's going to take a minute to catch up. But, uh... Yep, come on, take a minute. I'm going to pause this until it's perfect so you can see. Alright, if this is unpaused, look at that number right there. Just about 7 million. He will have that easily by the end of the week. The weekend, for sure. Because he is amazing. And, uh... Yep. If you don't know who the Rad Brad is, you should just stop watching right now. 
Alright, let's pause again, because there's another YouTuber that I have been obsessed with for three years. Freaking brilliant. Alright. YouTuber 2. Lindsay Sterling surpassed 9 million subscribers. She was at like 6 something or 5.6 million at the beginning of this year. And, or at the beginning of last year, I think. And so she's literally gained almost twice as many in the last tour that she's doing in Europe. So, bravo to that. Because that's awesome. This hair is driving me nuts. Where is my hat? It's over there. I'm going to pause it. Much better. Uh, <laughs> I type two because that's what pause hockey is on my bandy cam. That's funny. Anyways, stay away from one and twos. Now, my latest music craze addiction, if you will, whatever. And it sucks because Spotify, he's not so famous, at least to, to Spotify, I guess. Because there's only two of his songs on there that I like, but I like five or six of them. So, we'll just... Uh, give you a couple listens because it's amazing. Alright, um. Whoa, uh, this is my. This is what I discovered on Spotify Moon Dust. Brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Now, my music obsession changes constantly, but it takes years of content. Oh, did I spell his name wrong? I forgot the S. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, Jameis. I don't know. And now, that version's not terrible, but this one's better because it's slightly, uh, I think it's more professional. I just think he doesn't take himself seriously enough to do stuff, or maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. But, um, oh, the moon dust stripped one. All versions of it are freaking amazing, but let's listen to Suicide Sheep, which I, I'm not subscribed to, I don't think, but... Yeah, they overkill it. They do way too many covers of everybody else. Yeah, I'm not subscribed. And I don't care. But, uh, I'm obsessed with this music. Okay. Um. Oh, gosh. You can't hear it. I forgot. I'm an idiot. Anyways. Moon Dust. Look it up, people. Another one you should look up. Uh, let's pause this. I don't want to get copyright. Uh, if it's recording volume at all. Anyways. Moon Dust. Night Lights, no, Northern Lights, Moon Dust, Northern Lights, Fragments, I'll Be Good's kind of good, but, uh, it's not the greatest, but, um, okay, Fragments, Moon Dust, Night Light, Nor, or, what is it, uh, Dark Star, Dark Star is probably one of my favorites, it's the best, it's just brilliant, oh gosh. Moon Dust and Dark Star are probably the top two. And then, uh. Oh, Moon Dust, Dark Star. It's funny how they're all spacey and stuff. Anyways, uh. Yeah, he came out in like 2013, 2014, and I'm just discovering that now, so I'm obsessed. Um. <clears throat> and, uh, last but not least, let's close out of this. By the way, I'm starting to get more subscribers, which is awesome. I joined 13 freaking YouTube groups, and I've been sharing like crazy as often as I can. But beyond that, it's not a big deal. I've had hundreds, I've had millions. It'll get there again. It's just a little more difficult because YouTube sucks. These right here. Okay. I told you about the potatoes. I, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but I didn't show you. I added cheese this time. I said I was going to add cheese. Mozzarella. Check that out. How delicious. And I took the salsa out because I added something, I took something out. I think ketchup and mustard is just fine. But, holy amazing. It instantly burns your tongue with that, the heat. And then the lemon and garlic. I don't know. It just brings it down. And the cheese does add something. These are so good. I love potato wedges. <clears throat> the aftertaste and everything, it's just all good. And like I said to a friend last night, there was some cheese in my dip. <clears throat> I didn't say that to my friend. What I said was, it's not a st 
staying heat. It's a ling. It's not a lingering heat, is what I wanted to say. But uh, it disappears. It it says hello, and then it disappears. And I like that because it's not over the top. It's a really good spice. I still remember it. I've made some seasonings before, but this was a good mix. Hey, yummy. Anyways, now you know the subscriber update for me, Lindsey Sterling, Bradley Colburn, if you don't know who the Rad Brad is, and <laughs> my potatoes. Potato edges, I guess. I don't know. Let's, do <laughs> Let's throw this in here because I saw it just now. I have not finished this yet. No, I have not. No. I will get to it, though. Uh, just like I will get this damn haircut eventually. Anyways, gonna drink my juice, eat my wedges, and film. Oh, I got like three hours of alone time here. I um got my laundry. Did I flip that? Yes, I, did. I flipped my laundry to the dryer. That's not need-to-know stuff, though. Oh... I don't know how long this has went on. Probably six, seven minutes. Wow. I don't see that one. Because I'm a gentleman. Anyways. It's beautiful. Let's check the temperature. This temperature stuff's been blowing my mind. It's not saying. Mmm. Still eating these here potato wedges, burning my gut out temporarily. I love them, but I thought I just watched the last part, and you can hear moon dust for like five or six seconds. But there's commercial that was playing too that you could hear, and I don't know if that's going to get copyrighted. So before I even upload it, I'm going to make this one. Um, because I might cut that part out. You can hear moon dust. Oh my god, my nose is dripping. Hot, hot, hot. Anyways. Um. Cheese in my nail. Anyways, focus. Moon dust. Yeah, I just rambled on. But you can hear it. Moon dust. Northern Lights is funny, and it's, it's kind of good, it's kind of sad. I don't, it's, it's a mix. Moon Dust, Northern Lights, Dark Star, Fragment. Those are my top four right there. Look, J-A-Y-M-E-S, space, Y-O-U-N-G. James, or Jameis Young. Moon Dust, Fragment, Dark Star, Northern Lights. Best damn songs he ever did that I've discovered so far. There. Now I'll tack this on the end of part one and part two. Oh, it's going to take so much editing because I don't want commercials in there. But I think I'll leave the five or six seconds of moon dust in there because I don't really know if they have copyright. We'll find out. Anyways, bye-bye.